Hey everybody, this is Downware, and I'm doing the first ever StarCraft audio for WCReplays.com. Why me? Well, because nobody else is fucking around for some reason, nobody else is there, nobody's doing shit. StarCraft II is finally here, and what's everyone doing? Well, let's all jerk each other off in the alley instead of doing our jobs. As you can tell by the retard laugh in the background, I realize that, um, doing a, uh, StarCraft audio would probably be fairly difficult for someone like me that doesn't really know that much about StarCraft. So I decided to enlist my local StarCraft expert to give me backup. So let's introduce him now. Hello everybody, this is the awesomeness of uh, Downwares brother, Matthew. And I'm uh, here to show you all how to play this game. And uh, I used to watch my friends play this game back in 98 when it was really big over in college. And instead of uh, going to do a calculus class, I was like, hey, I'm going to watch my friends play some StarCraft. Because that's just how smart I am. I decided, you know what, let's just not go to school. Hey. How long did it take you to, to uh, devolve from watching your plans, friends play StarCraft to playing Hide the Salami with them? About 35 minutes. That sounds about right. All right. <laughs> We're going to start up StarCraft 2 now. Wee! Double click. Yay! Double click. Yay! That's Jim Rayner on the load screen. He's the leader of the Terran. Rebellion Terran guys thing. All right, I got to log in here. Here. And of course, I know everything about the Terran. I believe that they were uh uh um, they're, <laughs> they're humans and they were uh, criminals and they're on some kind of ship thing. They're all bad guys. So everybody in the game is bad guys. Not really much of a good guy character in this whole thing. Yes, you are definitely an expert. All right. I was sent a replay by, let's see what his name is. How would you pronounce that, Matthew? Knifey. Knifey. Well, I'm pretty sure that's not correct, so I'm, I'm not going to say knifey. And again, I'm also not a two-year-old. Okay. What's this? Knifey! That's right, baby. Now eat it. And then I stab you in the throat with it. That's what mom should have done to you when they were a kid. You should have had a steady dose of knifeys until there was no more Matthews. All right. Nifey, then. There. I'm going to just call him Knife. Because, anyway, he sent me this replay. Closest match of his life. Yes, that's going to be thrilling. Let's start the replay, shall we? I guess uh, I need to do the syncing and all that. So we'll start the replay. Fancy loading screen, which is a fart cloud in space with a planet next to it. And something about achievements, because they really wish they were had this game on the Xbox. All right. So, let's see. Gonna, uh, I guess I'll pause it at 15 seconds. So 15 seconds coming up here. Pause, and the gameplay speed will be faster, which because for some reason they thought it made more sense instead of things being normal to make it faster. So any uh, opening comments here, Matthew? This is actually pretty damn cool, man. I remember back in '98 what the uh, graphics looked like. It was pretty, uh, yeah, pretty shitty compared to this stuff. This is, wow, this is. Really impressive. If any of you remember the 98 version, comparing it to this one, it's just, it's just night and day. I'm sure none of the people have ever played the first StarCraft, similar to me, because why would they? If, if it's not good enough for downware, it's not good enough for anyone. Right. So uh, we're going to unpause this here. I um, guess it doesn't matter whose perspective you put it on, but unlike Warcraft, they thought it would be convenient to make it so if you choose someone's point of view, you can not you can only see their point of view and you can't turn off the fog of war. So I usually just leave it on everyone. But then you also don't hear the unit sounds and stuff because you're not from anyone's point of view. But whatever, that's enough babbling. We're going to unpause it. Just leave it on everyone's point of view. And we're going to unpause it. Three, two, one, go. All right, so I've been playing the uh, campaign mode. Still in the beginning, a couple of things. I just, like had to harvest 8,000 minerals off of lava planet where lava kept coming up and burning all my shit up. 
And, uh, yeah, I did real well on that. It took me, like, 45 minutes to defeat because <laughs> I kept losing all my shit. And it's like, warning! And I was like, oh, I'll just move my workers out of the way. Oh, wait, they're slow as shit. And, they, and then I realized I could load them into my um, uh, cr battle... What have, uh, what's the main building called? I don't know. What is it called, Matthew, Mr. Expert? Uh, shithole. Yes, I was trying to load them into the shithole. It's kind of the same way Matthew tries to load his cock into <laughs> shitholes. <laughs> and bathroom stalls across the country but uh yeah um i tried to blow them in my base and you can only put five of them in there so yeah kind of like matthew's ass you can only fit five into his shithole but uh yeah as you can see here knife is uh scouting red whose name is Auville. this is one of those games where uh starts off friendly enough they're discussing how uh knife doesn't like this map and I'll just call the other guy Blue. Doesn't he loves it? He thinks it's great. I love how their the uh, Protoss units collect little energon cubes and shit like they're in Transformers or some shit when they're collecting the uh, Vespine gas. That's right. See, I'm learning shit. I know shit. See, Matthew, the Protoss needs uh, pylons, which are like farms, and you can see the range around them like that. It's kind of like blight with undead. Put a pylon down, you can build shit anywhere in that circle. Can the pylons shoot things? I don't know. I'm pretty sure they can't. But uh, anyway, he's making a gateway, which he can use to build zealots, which are like the main units. Kind of like, I guess, footmen for humans. Uh, yeah, I haven't heard that name in a long time. Yeah, okay, Matthew, tell us more. Uh, nothing really to say. I'm just saying, wow, I remember... I'm just reminiscing from back in the day when I was watching these protest guys. The guys look like Wolverine over there. Just... She houses. All of that. That's what they'd say, and they'd start stabbing each other, and and that was <laughs> that's about all I got. I watched this game for a while. You know, for a long time I thought Bill Cosby was like the ultimate storyteller, but <laughs> I think uh, unfortunately he's been surpassed by Matthew Grace. Up, so uh, as you can see, both players are making gateways because what the fuck else are they gonna do? I don't think so. From what I've seen so far in StarCraft, there's no like. Um, just quick tech strategies where you don't make any units because you'd probably get ass raped. Uh, you can see. Uh, it's, not a, it's, not it's not Wolverine, Matthew. It's a zealot. It's got, it's got claws. Yeah, it's got claws. Good one. What were you saying that uh, the uh, Protoss units look like to you, Matthew? Uh, they look. Back when I was watching in '98, they looked like a mix between. Uh, Let's see, Alien and Wolverine. Cause they had great big heads like Alien, and they just had big claws and running around going she house and stuff. And, and uh, for uh, f uh, my life for ire. I remember that they had a little joke on on uh, Warcraft about that. With the, the undead would say my life for ire. I mean uh, Nazu. No, I meant uh, when you said that that's what the guy was dressed like that raped you at Comic Con last year. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was... Uh, wait, hey, you said you wouldn't tell anybody about that, you bastard. Everyone already knows. They can tell. They can hear it in your voice. Anyway, uh, two gateways for both players, I think. Now they're making uh, stalkers, which can hit air and ground. And Matthew pointed out they look like those fucking robot things from War of the Worlds, the remake. What the hell is that? Ooh, it's a stalker. Oh, wait, no, no, never mind. You're thinking of... Um, well, we'll see them later, and then I'll, and I'll tell you what they're called then. I don't remember. It's making a sentry. Uh, Blue's making a sentry, some stalkers. Uh, yeah, I've noticed in StarCraft you make a shitload of workers, because I guess it's more about economy than it is about uh, like leveling up, and there's no creeps or anything. You can just go right over to where an expansion is like this and just put a town hall right there, or whatever they call it here. They're called uh, Nexus, I guess, for the Protoss. So, most players will scout the other guy to see if they did a fast expansion, I think. And if they did, they try to rush him, or it just depends. I guess sometimes they both expand, whatever. I'm not the strategy guy, so don't ask me. Eventually, some fucking shit dicks over at WCR will get off their asses and start making, you know, like, educational StarCraft II audios. But until then, you're stuck with me and the StarCraft Gosu, Matthew, Matthew, well, I was going to say his last name, but... I didn't. I didn't. I didn't think I should say "cunt" in the audio this quickly. I just want right now to take a time to uh, tell everybody the awesomeness of Smirnoff Ice. I don't know why everybody thinks it's a gay drink. This is this is good stuff. It's mango. 
You know, mango is awesome. It's a, it's a, it's a fruit. It's good for you. No, you're thinking of mango. That's what you usually dine on, Matthew, remember? Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you always get those confused, probably because they, they probably taste similar. All right, Robotics Bay. All right, he's... Oh, Colossus. I think that's the unit he's going to make. Colossi at the Robotics Factory. Ooh, they get all fancy. When there's more than one Colossus, they're Colossi. That's fancy shit. Robotics Bay, Robotics Facility... He's making an, um, an immortal, which is going to disprove its name when it dies. That's bullshit. I'd bring the game back to the store if that was me. I made an immortal and it got killed. This is bullshit. It didn't even get decapitated by some fa some poofy pants wearing fag from 1700s. <laughs> and he didn't even get my quickening. All right, uh, Dark Templar is being made by a knife, which since I watched the loading cinema, Check out the fancy fights, Matthew. The loading thing. Oh yeah, uh, one of the, I think the sentry can put down these uh, shield things. You can block people from getting in your base. You could also use it. There's a bunch of different ways you can use them. But yeah, you can use it to block shit, to cut units off. Uh, the Dark Templars, they can cloak. I'm assuming those are cloaked. That's why they look all shiny like that. And they can turn into Archons, or Archons. I'm assuming it's Archons. But uh, I don't know what those are yet. I'll learn eventually. So we got Stalkers and Zealots, which I think is the standard thing. Now we got a couple of Dark Templars. Let's see. Uh, Knife has got a has got an expansion. Fancy. Uh, let's see. What's Blue doing here? Blue has... Yeah, he's got the robotics thing, so now he's going to start making Colossus. Yeah, he's making one now. The War of the Worlds thing that you were referring to. Okay. They're pretty sweet looking, and when they do, an, they do like a double s laser attack that like kind of looks like it's chopping shit in half and stuff. It's pretty sweet. Oh, cool. We can walk down hills. Robotics can, Bay. We can walk across... Uh, Gravitic Boosters. He's making some kind of upgrade as Robotics Bay. I don't know what the fuck that does yet. Eventually, I'll know this shit. And then I just won't bring it up ever. I'll just know it for my own personal use. And so that I can mock other players when they're doing it wrong. So Blue is now going in for an attack. Oh yeah, these Colossus things can go up like over hills and stuff like right there. It just walks right over the ground. So there's about to be a fight here, Matthew. So you being the expert here, I'm going to let you call it. So go for it. All right. That was a bunch of little uh, laser blasting uh, spiders. They're kicking ass. And... Uh, Red's about to get raped here, it looks like, but Blue is running away. I don't know why he's doing that for. What a bitch. He's a fag. Get in there and kick his ass. Come on, War of the Worlds. Come on. <laughs> kick his ass. Come on. Tom Cruise isn't even there. That's right. Fuck you, Tom Cruise. Got that stupid, annoying girl in there going, I'm on, mom. Come on, shoot him. Yeah, so... Yeah, so you can't... You can't stop. What the? Why is Blue leaving? Did Blue get their ass kicked? Not really. Looks like it was. Uh, really oh. I was wondering if people do this in uh, StarCraft like they do in WarCraft, like faggy human players. But uh, yeah, Knife's got a bunch of what they have for towers, which are photon cannons. So I'm sure that that helped him uh, push Blue back. You can. Uh, I also. Since I'm apparently retarded, I just recently realized that all the units have a shield and a health bar, so you have to get through both of those to kill the things. Oh, here comes another fight! It's going after the pylons of uh, Knife. That's not very nice. Knife's sending a uh, Dark Templar by there because it's invisible! Oh, uh, the Zelnaga Tower things? I think those are like the uh, Goblin Laboratory in Warcraft where you can use it to, like, scout the other guy's base. So... Blue is just making the same shit. Stalker's getting a uh, thermal lance upgrade for, I guess, his... Um, oh, he's got some kind of detection thing. He started attacking that Dark Templar. Fancy. This is funny shit, huh? <laughs> I'm just talking about what's going on. <laughs> Stop. Shut up. It's not funny. All right. I'm getting that gas. I think you've been getting that gas this whole audio, you stinky fuck. <laughs> so, tell us about B.O., Matthew. Well, the scientific term for it is trichomuscalia. Thank you very much, Baldadash. Yes, I'm a nerd. 
Shut up. Well, enough about the foreign exchange student you're banging named Balderdash. Let's get back to the game here. Damn, knife is one tower whore. Look at that. He's